something else I want to talk to you guys about. I wanted to make a next a separate video for. I didn't want to add it to the one where my brother ate my tacos. But uh, if you knew someone for ten plus years, talk to them. Work if you guys start getting if you don't like something they're doing and you guys are getting in a big fight all the time talk to them about it because you don't want to throw away a really good friendship and another thing another tip that I would like to give you guys is don't take games serious don't be like don't tell other people hey don't take games serious it's just a game I don't mean anything by it I'm just joking around Take a joke, blah, 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 and then turn around. And then when we do something in a game, me and a friend, do some, another friend, do something in a game, and you don't like it, and you think we're going to do it in real life because we did it in a game, that you're taking it serious. Because it goes both ways. Don't take game. You tell us don't take games serious. Well, guess what? Don't take games serious and block people on everything for no fucking reason especially when they're not the ones that did it and second of all even though they didn't do it just talk to them about it because they may not know what they did was wrong because they you got to remember they're not normal human beings they got a disorder so they probably don't know what they did wrong until after the fact so just talk to them that you didn't like it you thought it was rude and crude and mean and blah 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 but don't go around lying and getting into people's heads and telling people how they should think and who they should like when they can like whoever they want to like like stop going on to your your sites and your servers and stuff and telling people that so and so said this so and so said that when really so and so did not do this or that and when someone tells me so and so did something I always go straight to the person and say so and so is saying this about you you have the right to know that they're talking shit about you and are you say doing this you know I would find out I wouldn't lie just to get people to to be my friend over them because all it's gonna do is get your ass in trouble they're gonna find out that you're lying and then they're gonna be mad at you anyway I let people think for themselves and I tell them the honest truth and let them decide if they want to be your friend or not. They can be friends with you while they're friends with us. I don't make them pick sides. That's just rude. And I don't get other people involved that don't need to get involved. Like I don't tell young young kids in my family oh hate this person take them off of their like delete yourself from their server because they they're bad people no I let them determine if they're bad people or not I might let them know hey this is what they did you can either be friends with them or not be friends that's totally up to you and that is totally up to them. Don't be a follower, and if someone else blocks you or deletes you, doesn't mean you have to do the exact same thing to be their friend. He would understand if you still want to be my friend and not do what he did. Like, come on now. That's just a tip to let y'all know. I can't tell you the situation or what happened or whatever. It's personal, but I can tell you that the tip of this video is think for yourself 
do what you think is right and you know is right. You're not going to lose a friend over it. And don't take games serious. When it's just a game, people just joke around. And when they need to let some steam off because they're pissed off at you and they don't want to take it out on you or others and they want to do it in a video game, doesn't mean they want to do it in real life. So chillax. Talk to you later. Later, haters. Hey, before you make up shit about General Hospital, why don't you do your math and look up who the hell Gina is and who her family, who Gia's family is, before you consider her Trina's mother. Did you not, did you miss the episode where Taggart, where she called Taggart daddy and told Cameron this is her father and 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 everything and by the way Gia is not related to Cameron any sort of way not even half brothers not even nothing because Gia is not a Cassidyne and is not related to the Cassidyne's in any way yeah she dated Nicholas and married Nicholas but she's not a blood Cassidy she married into the family and second of all I don't think Gia would fuck fuck her brother to have a daughter that would be disgusting and it's not Jordan's either so stop with the it's Jordan's Jordan's the mother. If Jordan was the fucking mother, and Ta Taggart lives somewhere else, and Taggart keeps told Trina, tell your mother to call me. I keep trying to call her, and she won't answer. Why would it be Jordan? He already knows Jordan, and where the fuck would? Why would Jordan not remember a daughter, and why would Jordan hide that she has one, and not and and not have TJ know about it, since TJ is the oldest? Hello. Do your math, do your research before you consider this. In case you're wondering, it says if what I read is true and Gia is Trina's mother, then her and Cameron are half brothers and sisters by way of a Xander boom that's not true because you're saying that G is a is a is part of a Xander Xander's family or that Cameron is part of G uh, you know um well Cameron is part of Elizabeth's family we all know that because Elizabeth and, and Xander are his fathers but Luke, or uh, Luke, Lucky adopted Cameron. Cameron is named after Xander's real dad's name. Okay. So therefore, and I, um, is not Trina's sister. Xander is not Trina's sister. Sorry, just doesn't work that way. Trina. Or, no, it should be Gia, yeah, Gia, not Trina. Sorry. Trina. Gia is not Xander's sister. Gia is Taggart's sister. Does that make any sense? Anyways, none of this makes sense. Anyways, talk to y'all later. I didn't know that winning two times meant that she wasn't, that Sandra wasn't a good, a good, was good at the game. Sorry, couldn't get that out. I did not know that winning twice meant that Sandra was not good at the game. How did she win if she's not good at the game? Explain that to me. Since you obviously 
think she's not a good gamer or good at the game, but yet she won twice. Apparently, if she wins twice, it means she's a good gamer. If she was bad at the game, then she'd be voted out first or somewhere in the middle, just like everybody else that was. And she wouldn't be on Survivor 40 or Survivor 39 for being the best player. So come on now. Another thing, just because you don't like her doesn't mean it makes her a bad game player. So what is Jordan doing that you don't like? Because you'll, you, cause I'm sick and tired of hearing people like, I just don't like Jordan. If, does anybody else agree? I don't like Jordan. And everybody in the comments are going, nope, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. We like Jordan, we like Jordan, we like Jordan. Guess what? There's nothing wrong with Jordan. What is Jordan doing that you don't like? I said, I see someone has a dumb brain. <clears throat> How would, why would Valentin be Edward Quartermain's son? Why would, why would, um, Edward Quartermain, Eddie, whatever, why would he <clears throat> give up his kid and give him to a cast today? Like, one, why would he fuck Helena? for one and have sex with her because Elena is his mother like and then why would he give her up give him up um you must have missed the years and the episodes with Emily Quartermain when the whole Quartermain family would bitch and complain every time Emily was with Nicholas Cassidy the Quartermains hate hate they hate the 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 Cassidines. They especially didn't like Emily with Nicholas. And always would fight it. So why would Edward have sex with Helena to produce Valentine? And then why would he stop moving you goddamn piece of shit, Beeb? I'm not moving the damn mouse. So, why would he do that? And then, not have him as a son. Like, that makes no sense. And yes, I thought Dev was Brenda's son, because I couldn't remember Brenda's son's name. Yes, he could have changed it, whatever. But, no, he's not Brenda's son. Because if it was Brenda's son, she would already... Because I found out... Brenda is not coming to the show, or, yeah, and Brenda wouldn't let her son go homeless and live by himself, so it just doesn't make any sense, and stop fucking moving, goddamn thieves, so, and no, Dev's father, why do you think Dev's father was killed, why do you think that? Use your brain. Also, please stop with the allegations. He's Sonny's fucking son. With Brenda. Because we wrong. If Sonny had a kid with Brenda. He wouldn't let Brenda. Leave town with her. With his son. Olivia. Olivia Valkadari. Quote me. She did it. She kept his son from Sonny, and Sonny, d the thing is, Sonny didn't know that De or that Dante was his son, because when Sonny left, she was pregnant but never told him. I doubt Brenda would have had an, a baby boy, then got pregnant again while he's still a baby with Sonny and not tell Sonny and just leave. I doubt that. She's not that type of girl.